Hi, my name is Michaela, and I work at the Winkler Library in the Summer Reading Program. Today, I'm going to share with you some facts about Australian rock art. Australian Aboriginals have been making rock art for a very long time. Anywhere from 30,000 years ago until today. That means that rock art has existed in Australia before the pyramids, mammoths going extinct, and people domesticating sheep, cows, and pigs. Rock art is documented as recently as 50 years ago, with Aboriginal people using the styles and techniques used long ago, mixing with modern art supplies like canvases or paint. People made rock art for the same reasons we make art today, to tell stories, document events, for spiritual purposes, or to show emotion. There are two main types of rock art, petroglyphs and pictographs. Petroglyphs are engravings in the rock, often done with stone tools. In limestone caves where the walls are made of clay, the walls are so soft that you could even make indents with your fingers. Pictographs are like any other drawing or painting. Pigment is applied to the rock either as a paint or in solid form, like paint or chalk. However, instead of using paint, things like charcoal, clay, chalk, and ochre were used. These materials are still used today, and instead of acrylic or watercolor paint, paintings are made with minerals like ochre, hematite, and manganese oxide. Hematite lasts the longest, which is why a lot of paintings you see today are red. There are two main styles of Australian rock art. Geometric forms, which can look like this, and figurative forms, which are made to represent real life things, like this. Can you tell what these paintings represent? A specific style of figurative rock art is known as the x-ray art style, where the artist would paint the inside of the subject, like a modern day x-ray. Paintings in this style range from animals to even inanimate objects like ships. A specific type of geometric style rock art is dot paintings. The concept of using dots and designs to convey meaning is important to Aboriginal culture there is sacred meaning behind it. Whenever Aboriginal artists would create dot paintings, they had purposefully scramble and mix up the symbols as a way to protect them from people who weren't allowed to see the sacred parts of their art. In the 1970s, a teacher known as Geoffrey Barden encouraged students to paint a mural inspired by these traditional dot paintings in the school. From there, modern day dot painting took off. The popularization of dot paintings is known as the Papunya Tula art movement. However, rock painting doesn't just exist in Australia, there's petroglyph sites located right here in Manitoba. You can find a Manitoban rock art at the Bannock Point Petroforms in the Whiteshell Provincial Park. There will also be a list of notable Manitoban rock art locations in the description. Check out the links in the description for more information on rock art. Don't forget to subscribe and try and find the secret code I've hidden somewhere in this video.